Aussie Central guinea pig rescue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, little dude. Yeah, we're going to go so He's had a scrap. He has. Yeah. Yeah, poor thing. Like, he had a cut. He had that cauliflower that yeah. you cleaned off um, last time. Last time. He's a bit smelly there. Mm. As well. I have to learn how to do it. <laughs> What's that clean him? Yeah. Or ears? I did clean or his both. ears. Um, are you meant to, how often are you supposed to do it? I cleaned um, it about two just, weeks ago. Yeah, he needs this one doing. Okay. I'm probably a little bit more direct with cleaning than okay. you might be, but okay. I can feel it the minute it's there. Okay, all right. Every and week? No, oh, only no. when you do his nails. But probably with what he's gone through, oh, yeah. he's... Okay. Really get in there. Yeah. Okay. Just around all the folds. What was your name? That ear was worse. This one's not so bad. Just do it. Too. Just water? No, this is Malaseb. Oh, okay. Malaseb in water. So it's like, can you use? I've read you can use olive oil. No, no? definitely not. <laughs> it's, saying that. it's for softening really hard tissue, but there's nothing hard in there. Okay. And what it does do is block pores. So we find that we get guinea pigs with more abscesses and issues when there's olive oil involved. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's not natural to them. But if we do need to soften something, like we're talking about facial scabies or yep. even hard ears, you know, it's just really hard. You, you, you haven't seen anything like it, but crusted in there, that's when we do soften it. So oh, okay. But no, as a process of cleaning, no, because it just, it'd be like putting olive oil in your own ear. Yep. Can you imagine how it would be? <laughs> it'd be a little bit goopy. Um, he had a really nasty It was nip. really yeah. bad. The one in the nose is still a bit. Yeah, still a bit yucky. Yeah, because it really tore that tissue. Yeah. Heck. Yeah. Like the one on the outside. Of Did the he have lip. um antibiotics? No. No. Okay. Just that betadine. Um, yeah. Yeah, it hasn't sealed over. He could have almost had a stitch in that. Oh. Okay. Just looking at it. Like the one there has healed. Yeah. yeah, but the nose one. It hasn't healed because the scab is still attached. Not so good. There we go. Yeah. But yeah, he's been really good letting me. Yeah, just put all up, this on. Keep up the better Dean. Okay on this you need to do that because it's still yep you can see yeah even the upper the lip soft tissue yeah. i'm just going to wrap him up so i can see him a bit better uh -huh. oh my word he certainly got him didn't he got him good yeah Right there, I can feel it. It's right there. Oh, yeah. Right there. Feel that lump. Feel oh, it? Tiny. That's it. Tiny. Yeah. yeah. Just show them because that's where he was attached. And that doesn't disappear till about eight weeks. So, yeah, it's a baby. How long have you been doing this for Oh, 20 years. Oh, wow. A long time. How did you get it? in IT oh. <laughs> There's a big, in the guinea pig magazine, I've just done a big article on that. Oh. For them, it'll be part of this, um, this month. Episode story, something like that. You're okay. All right, we're gonna leave those. Let's have a look at your bottom. I'll give you back for a minute. His face is done. All right, so we've wet him down there. The bit that I want to get rid of is just a bit of impaction there. You can see it's there. No, no, I'll take him out. We're so going back in the water. <laughs> we'll do this first. Okay, so with his little boy bits. And he's got loads of debris in around here. Oh my goodness, little fella. This is why he's smelly. But he's got loads of debris in there. I know, you've got all this stuff stuck in here, Patches. All of it caked on. 
let's just get that off hey it feels so much better he's like he wants to nibble and bite at it but we just clear no you can't have it little fella no, uh -uh. so it just really gets built up oh, in wow. there yeah and it's really really smelly yes doing this you say so you can that see didn't need to be done, done that often, but with him, no, with him, like he's. I think he's because he's been meeting buddies. He's just been racing around a lot oh, more, okay. and he's yeah, he's really getting it built up in there. So, so yeah, he you just he might often. need it a little bit more often okay. for him. And he's got this little cauliflower too, darling. Yeah. Hey, no, little fella. So all these little bits in here, they actually release the smegma. That's sort of sitting on and around. Holy dolly. With that hand. Yeah, and he'll be way less smelly. Okay. Once we've given him a little I know, I'm just doing what I'm doing is just sort of wiping it off that tissue to see if it's stuck at all. Sometimes we get it stuck in the pores there. Okay. There we go. Okay, now this little bottom, similarly, he's just got some hair and stuff stuck there. We can just literally wipe that out like this. Take that out. No, no, stuck in there. It's about. Patches have got quite a quite a bit stuck there. There we go. All right, hold on. Now I'm just going to pop it. A little bit of Malaseb. So literally just washing around because that will actually help break down I know some of this I know I'm sorry it's very delicate little area and then we make sure we really rinse that off it'll be lovely you can see now how clean that tissue yes, is yes With, if you were just doing water it won't clear it okay because it's too the smegma's too sticky it just won't clear Mm -hmm. Just from I? a pet shop, okay. any pet shop, over the counter. I'm just going to take a photo. Yeah. It's the one product we recommend everyone have. Here we go, you're nice and clean now. We'll get you back out to show. And after that little wash is now nice and clean, everything clean and clean, nothing stuck, which is great. So we're just going to... Have a puppy or bottom, do a bit of a bottom wine. And he's not wet on his chest or anything, so we don't need to. To worry. Wonder you're so smelly. Yeah, and then I've done Debrazol on his mouth yep. area. Just keep going with the Betadine as you are. Okay. Right. The only bit I'm concerned about is this little nick under his nose. Yes, where he's been bitten there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like right in the nostril. Yeah, area. just right in the nostril. Mm. It's a bit nasty there, I but there's no swelling. Tried to and there's the no pus. Yeah, Betadine. just just keep dipping it with that. And give it another so, week and see. But if anything so changes, like about, additional pus or swelling or heat, then the he'll, he'll yeah. most likely need an antibiotic. Okay, take the last you have to yeah, do this every two months. months. Okay. If they stay indoors, and every three months as well. Yeah. Um, so every it's three months clear. you repeat the same process. Sure what I'll do is and I'll grab them later and I'll show you how to put it on. Just them. wiping and forward like that to make sure that any debris is removed, but then he's he's okay, and you, you'll notice any changes from there. Okay. All right, Thank catchers. You. So basically, we're time to go home, and yeah, we'll, we'll then make a plan B once his nose is better. Yeah, we'll make a separate time. Okay. Thanks so much. Cheers.